So recently we saw a trailer for Gundam Evolution. It's been cooking away in the background for quite some time. They've been doing betas over in Japan, but there is one coming over to the EU NA region around April 7th. And I've been following the footage for quite some time, and to be honest, it has looked very beta-ish. I looked at the engine, it didn't really look all that polished, the textures were all a bit meh. But I have some great news because they put out another trailer and they're starting to really build up on it now. And i got to say, everything looks a lot better now. The texture quality was a lot better, the gameplay and models felt really smooth, and my interest in playing this has actually grown. If you don't know what this is, basically there's a new game coming out, it is Gundam themed and the best way to, I could explain it is, is Overwatch with mobile suits. So the video they put out today and I'm expecting to see a few more of these are tailored around two of the mobile suits that will be featured in the game. Today they talk about Exia and also Masare and I think they've probably done this intentionally but they're two different mobile suits with two very distinct playstyles. So you've got Exia who is the more melee focused of the two. Her main weapon is she's got the beam daggers which you can see just throwing out and chipping away at the enemy. But the big melee-esque damage that you see kind of her one-shotting people with is from her sub-weapon and that is Rush and Slash. And you can basically charge this up and then you'll rush in and you'll do huge damage. And if you do it at full charge, you get to stun them as well. So as you can imagine, her being a melee character, she comes with a huge amount of mobility. Again, comparing it to Overwatch, it has a lot of similarities to uh, Genji because you've got Quick Step, which is kind of like a short mobility dash. You also have a spin and slash which will push enemies away from you. And then lastly you've got her ulti which is the one which forms the cross blades and that's called Beam Saber. Also if you don't know about the ulti system inside Gundam Evolution it is called G Maneuver. You get to charge it up and then use a special ability. Theirs is Trans Am for this and this basically reduces the cooldowns and all of your sub abilities and makes your other abilities do different things. So essentially you just turn into like an uber mobile suit. Now the next one I want to talk about is the more long range of the two and I say there is that contrast between you've got short range uh, mobile suit and then you've got a long range mobile suit. So Marisai has the Gauze rifle which is called the Fende Yin rifle. Now this is classed as a medium range rifle but to be honest looking at it, it looked like it had lots of long range capability as well. But I think that comes from the sub action because that limits recoil and also improves the mid range aim on the gun. Now even though I do enjoy long range rifle action on paper it isn't all that exciting. But that being said there are two abilities that really kind of ramp up the utility for Marisai. The first one is just a melee poke and it's called beam blade and basically just does knock back and a little bit of damage. This is actually a theme I've seen across a lot of mobile suits that they all have some sort of knock back ability and I think that is purely because there are a lot of melee-esque mobile suits in the game and it just gives you a nice little escape mechanic. Now the main reason why Marisai really appeals to me is because of Sea Snake which is a bit like Pudge's hook, you fire it out, it does damage, also stuns the enemy and then pulls them closer to you. And what is really cool about this ability is if you charge it up and use it as a G maneuver then you get to use it as a basically an AoE kind of stun and then you can finish off all the enemies in front of you. Because the main weapon from what I've seen actually does a fair bit of damage. But anyway, these are the two mobile suits that they have highlighted today. There's a, you've got a long range one and you've got a melee-esque one. And I know I've said it before and I've made a lot of comparisons. There does seem to be a huge amount of influence from Overwatch. I mean, Marisai just feels very, very similar to how Pudge works, especially with that whole pull melee hit combo that you can do. And then you've got Exio with all her mobility and high DPS damage. But as a caveat, I'm going to say there's nothing wrong with this because this game does look like it will be a lot of fun. I'm super pleased that it's going to be free to play as well because it pretty much guarantees that a lot of people are going to try this out, including myself. In terms of long-term play, I don't know how the model is going to pan out. I don't know what the kind of incentives for people to keep playing. As far as I can see, there's no progression system. I think a lot of it will be just farming currencies for mobile suits, and I expect them to be fairly expensive for each one of them. And also, I would probably expect to see a lot of skins as well. Either way, this is going to be super, super cool. Remember, April 7th, if you want to get into the beta, go to the website and sign up for it. And I will do more videos on this as soon as I have more details. Anyway, that's all for now. Have a great week, everyone, and I'll be back with more news and reviews soon.